So this is the Cricut Auto Press. For time purposes, I already turned it on and already adjusted the settings for what I needed to. Um, this is the control panel for the temperature and the time. There's four preset buttons, and if you don't uh, do a lot of different types of substrates, uh, such as t-shirt wood, aluminum, or other things, you can have it preset to what you need. So for the first button, I set it to five seconds for preheat. Number two, for like when I actually need to press in the temperature. Uh, for three, um, it is for an another temperature, depending on if I wanted it longer. And three is for infusible products that I'm using. But I'll just go back to one for the preheat. Uh, the nice thing about this is on the back you can change it between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm used to Fahrenheit, so I am using Fahrenheit. The knobs is where you turn the temperature and the, uh, the seconds that you need um, for your pressing. So one thing I really like about this is the big space that you have. I do have a clamshell and I do have a swing away. I don't have the clamshell with me right now, but this definitely does give you more space. It is automatic, so you do not need to adjust the knob where you see the other one and you don't really need to grab onto this lid like the other presses because you see how easy it is. Like, I swear if you're a baby and you're not afraid of the heat, you, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they could pretty much just swing this down like this. So this button right here, this button is what activates the press when you put it down. You um, you press this with even just like one finger. You go like that, just slightly tap, and then it starts pressing. And then if you just lift it with one finger like that, it just pops right up. So one caution is don't hover your head over the press when you're pressing and then once you just lift that the finger uh, with one finger the lid goes right up the heat press lid also there's some safety buttons here Cricut did design a safety feature where if you have this closed and you shut that button uh, turn that button on the side where it shows uh, the lock So with that being said, I do have a shirt and I do have um, something to press. So I just wanted to show you. Um, again, you could preheat. So this shirt is a tank top, so it's a little trickier. So I'm just trying to adjust it one word of the wise if you're newer to pressing articles. Sometimes the seams can make it not make the vinyl not stick properly so you just want to make sure you're getting rid of the seam um, or putting something inside the middle so it could be elevated so it could be uh, raised up so when the press is pressing it's pressing on the article and uh, and the design onto the shirt so I'm gonna eyeball this So if it doesn't come out perfect, it doesn't really matter because it's for me. I want to give a shout out and thank you. Um, to, thanks to my husband, <laughs> Tuan, for some of you that know him, for making this for me for Asian uh, Pacific Heritage Month, which is this month. So let me see. So I'm eyeballing this, so... If it doesn't come out right, it's okay because it's for me. But yes, I'm just trying to check out the placement. Like again, I'm gonna choose number one setting, which is set at five seconds. So I'm just gonna push the lid down. Look, my hand is right here. I'm just gonna push the lid down just like that and it activates it. Remember, keep your head clear from the space because it will go up like that so I will put this design on eyeballing it all right I'm putting it down getting my protective cover pushing number two so it's different this is different temperature for a longer temperature Again, because I have issues from the pandemic, I get a lot of pain here, here, pretty much my joints and everything. It's not always that I can 
do like the motion of pressing down my other press. So like with this, I could push the lid down like this, or even if I really had to, and I had to really use my arm. I don't know if you can tell, if I'm just using my arm like this, to put this down like this, or I can just use two fingers and just tap like that. It will automatically adjust, so no knob. And then once it's done, it will pop up. And as you can see, that's the temperature right there. My hands are here, so I'm not doing anything to the press. And then, voila. Voila, our shirt, or my shirt. And some people like to give it a second press. Um, it's not always necessary. You just want to make sure that you have the right instructions so that um, so that you're not over pressing because over pressing can result in in uh, in the vinyl being compromised. Sorry, I was just checking it out, making sure it's cold to peel. There we go.